What's up, guys? It is Rayshawn and Hugin. We are the Unscripted Real Artists. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the evolution of Zac Efron. Yesterday, um, for the like the very first time, um, Hugin and well, I was on Amazon. Um, Prime, watching, just watching random movies and stuff like that. Um, and I found a Zac Efron movie. Um, it's called Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. And when I tell you this movie is like outrageously like comical and ridiculous, it's wild. From beginning <laughs> Wild to is the short end of it. Right. Um, so me and Hugin ended up watching the movie and um if you haven't, please do check it out because it is it is it hilarious. Is crazy. Um but and very entertaining. Right. Right. So before we get like any further into like the movie and the elements and whatever, whatever, um when I first saw Zac Efron, um, when a lot of people was, first saw Zac Efron, I know I, I had seen him before. I had seen him before um, in movies and, and such, mm. right? But the first time I actually like was like really and truly introduced to him was when he played Troy Bolton in High School Musical. I know everybody's like, oh my God, yeah, musical, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? This is coming from the girl that right. loves musicals. <laughs> but it was a good movie, right? But it was a, it was a it was a great movie for that time. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in high school, your your, your typical you know, high, you school, high school sort of like flip how me and with Disney Disney aesthetics, you right? Know? Right, Oof. and it was wholesome. Good, I, I enjoyed it. It was, it was a right. It was a really good movie. Um, and then you know they did too, and whatever, whatever. But then he actually grabbed my attention because I'm a big musical girl. I love musicals. Um, but he did Hairspray. Oh yeah, he did and do yes. Hairspray. I forgot about that. Yes. And then, um, you know, he did, uh, uh, what was it? The reboot for Baywatch. Which um, I heard was also that hilarious. That I saw, he did really good. It was, it was hilarious. I have not seen it. It was very that much is, hilarious. That is, that is my catchphrase, y'all. I have not seen it. <laughs> but, but, um, then I know he did the, the showman. The greatest as showman. Hugin told me he did, but I didn't, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't haven't seen it yet, but I heard that it was really good. Um, so he has like a long catalog. And, but and the one, oh yeah, the one I with like him and Seth area, Rogen, where he's like a frat boy. Yeah, yeah and yeah. it's like a whole battle yeah. with the frat boy versus the parents with a newborn, <laughs> mm -hmm. which I also heard was hilarious as well. Um, so like the genre that i think he thrives in though because he can do he's like one of those wild cards where you give him an assignment and he'll flourish for me i feel like he thrives in comedy because he's like really funny and not like mm -hmm. oh i'm gonna get on a stage like a comedian and make you laugh right but performance wise he got it in i'm, the I'm bag. just thinking about that one scene he got it in a bag from that movie we watched yesterday the ugly cry like he's just like, <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, he said that it just made me think of that. I'm like, yo, this man was literally snotting and buggering, you. like Viola um, Davis like, snotting he, and like, buggering, like he lost but his best like friend. not cute at all. Like he lost his best friend, right. and that was the thing that was killing me because I'm just like. Dude. The situation does not call for this level of snotting and buggering, man. It, what? It, but it wasn't, though. But that's what, that's made, what made it, it hilarious. ten times it just... more hilarious than it needed to be. 
But um, and that scene right there is also proof that no matter who cries, no matter how fine they are, everybody's ugly when they cry. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, you got some people out there that know how to cry on cue in there and they look cute. Still, they know how to do a cute cry. But some people, it just ain't cutting out. It ain't working out. It ain't working out <laughs> yeah. in their face. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, I do enjoy seeing him in movies because, you know, People like Zac Efron, people be counting him out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he get into a look, whatever. You know, it's kind of like Robert Downey Jr. when he went through his whole thing. Yeah, he went through a whole, he went through a whole situation and redeemed himself a little bit. Right. And then got out of the acting game and it's just kind of chilling now. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't blame him. If I've accumulated that I much mean, money, I would Robert chill Downey too. Robert Downey Jr. is up there in age. He can't be doing all that jumping and leaping and all this other stuff that they yeah. was trying to have him do with Iron Man. So True. I'm like, hey man, them knees not working like they Cut. used to. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Hello. You hit 30. Them These knees, knees is not. made out of vibranium no more. <laughs> well, kind of forever. Um... No more. But yeah, that, I think that basically concludes this part of the video. Um, talking about, briefly about Zac Efron. He's that dude. He's that guy. We love Zac Efron. Um, and I think he should do more um, romantic comedies, comedy films. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, as long as there's a comedy he element. Because his... he can do, he can do drama. Because I saw a clip of him yeah. from a uh, scene from The Greatest Showman with him and Zendaya. And it's a, it's a musical number. And it's it's so, uh, it's so, uh, just, I mean, it's a really cool vi scene visually. But he, he nails the, like, emotion of it because it's almost like the, their characters are like uh, star-crossed lovers kind of thing from what I gathered from mm -hmm. people in the comments and stuff like that. So it's yeah. just like he he nails it. He's good at what he does. I just think he has like found his like niche with the comedy uh films. Yeah. So yeah. I mean he can, the man can do it all. Yeah, he can do it all. Yeah. But yeah, we hope you guys uh, like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notification bell on. Click all. And don't, fully, don't forget to leave us a comment down below and let us know what movies that you find interesting. Um, in his uh, filmography. In one of your faves or Zac Efron. Right. Right. Um... So yeah, we will see you guys in the next video.